Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name is Clark. I'm a member of the product training staff here at Lab Archives. And this is going to be on our Classroom Edition platform. Specifically, we're going to talk about what the TA needs to do. So what we're going to take a look at, uh, just to give you an idea of what the instructor is doing, ahead of time, the instructor has created what we're going to call a master course notebook. And they use what's called the course manager to connect this notebook to their course. And in this course manager, this is where they add their students, and this is where they add their TAs and sections. Now, when the students get added to the course manager, the students get a copy of that notebook at that moment in time, much like the TA does. The TA gets a copy of the same notebook. Now, with their copy, the students can begin to engage with that notebook immediately, and the instructor, meanwhile, can go ahead and add new material to their notebook. And when they're ready, they can just push that out to the students, uh, no problem. So that's how that works. So now let's go take a closer look at what the TA does. I'm acting as the instructor here, and you're going to be my TA eventually. But what I did is I created a, a TA training notebook. And I threw in an assignment in here. Uh, there's a little assignment in here about a gel, <laughs> about a gel. And I'm gonna, I sent that out to my students. Now, the course manager, which you don't have access to. I mean, you can see it, but you don't do anything in here, uh, except you have access to the student notebook through this uh, course manager. Now, what you're seeing on the screen here is I've added three students. And they've done some homework, and I know this because as the instructor, I get little notifications on my screen that they've done this. Now, let me show you who my TA is at the moment. My current TA is Joe TA, but I'm going to add you as a TA so you get to see what happens. So I'm going to add, and you don't have access to this. I do because I'm the teacher. So I'm going to add a TA, and I'm going to add you in here your email address, mm -hmm. and I'm going to click Add. And yes, I want to add you to this course. Okay, great. So now, what happens? Well, you just received an email from Lab Archives, and that email looks like this. It looks, uh, looks something like this. You know, hello, your instructor, this will be me, um, has created a notebook for you, and it's called, I don't know, TA training or something like that. Anyway, you'll see this activation link in here. And so when you go out to your email, your duke.edu email, you'll see that, and then go ahead and click on that activation button, and then go effectively join my Lab Archive course. So I'll wait for you to do that, and then I'll show you what happens on my screen. And the students, the same thing happens with the students. When the instructor adds the students, they get an email also. And they have to go through the same process that you're going through. I think I'm in it. Like accessing the TA demo. Good. All right. Excellent. So now I can tell that you've actively joined my course as a TA. So now on the screen, in the upper right hand corner, well, let me get over to my thing. In the upper right hand corner, you should have a little icon there that looks like a chalkboard with a little pen next to it or something like that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, click on that, and that'll open up the course manager. Now, your course manager is going to look a little different than mine. What you have access to, well, you have access to all the same uh, tabs here on the left side of the screen, but you can't do anything with them. Uh, that's, that's because TAs can't do that. But what TAs do have access to is they have access to the students. So click on that students tab if you're not already there, and you'll mm -hmm. see, you know, Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen. Now, what you need to do as a TA is you need to go visit these students' notebooks 
and do your mentoring and grading duties if that's what's expected of you. So on your screen, in the upper right-hand corner, you have an open assignment navigator. Do you see that button, upper right corner? All right. Yeah, so open up the assignment navigator. And what this is, is this is a, a toolbar for an instructor or a TA, and you only see this when you go into a student notebook. And so from this toolbar, you can navigate. Actually, let me let me bring this up to this screen here so we can talk about the same thing. So now I'm I'm in Clark Kent's notebook. And from this toolbar, you can navigate to everybody in the class. And uh, if you're if you're a TA in other classes, you'll have access to them here. And then you'll have access to all the sections if there's more than one section and so forth. But go to assignment here. This will allow you to jump directly to an assignment in the student's notebook. So there's only one assignment here, and I called it gel. So if you went ahead and clicked on gel, you'll see what happens. It finds that assignment in the student notebook. So let me know when you get there. Okay, so it's a picture. Yeah, all right. So it's a picture of a gel, and uh, the assignment was for the students to annotate some part of the image. Now, what you're looking at here is this entry right here is what we call the assignment entry. Now, you don't have anything to do with this other than looking at it. Uh, at this point because the instructor had already done this for you but what you need to know how to do is well how do I grade how do I grade things in the students notebook well before we start tar, tar, little, before we start talking about grading let's talk about how you can do some mentoring activities within the student notebook and there's a couple ways to do that when you hover over the entries they all have the same ones but one of these is a little comment bubble so you could be in Clark Kent's notebook, and you could click on that comment bubble, and you could type in a comment about, you know, I don't know, nice work. And then you could add the comment. And now this is a comment. It's just sitting here. This is not a permanent entry in the notebook. This is rather a very casual dialogue between the instructor or the TA and the student. The student could do the same thing. The student could click on this and go, you know, uh, hi, Kayla, I have a question about how to annotate. Okay. So, uh, you know, like raising the hand type of thing. So there's that way. Now, the other way to, to, uh, to leave comments is simply to put in a rich text entry. And you can do that from this add entry toolbar. Put a, uh, a rich text entry in there and maybe change your font color so it stands out. Uh, also, too, maybe this is maybe you're opening up a, a body of text that the uh, student has already put in here. Maybe they've responded to some questions, but you want to leave a comment in there, so you just open it up here, and you you can just say, you know, nice job, and then save the page. Now, this is a permanent entry, and if Clark Kent wanted to, or Lois Lane or whoever wanted to print this out, then they would see this. So those are a couple ways you can leave comments. Now, for you, at this point, I want to just explain to you what's going on here. This is assignment number one. The name of this assignment is Jill, and there's a total of 10 points here for this assignment. Now, you can see that Clark Kent worked in a group with Lois Lane. So you have an opportunity here to put in a grade. For Clark Kent, you know, it looks like Clark did really nice work. So in there on your screen, go ahead and type in a number from 1 to 10. It looks like he did good work, so give him a higher number. And when you do that, go ahead and click on Assign Grade. And let me know when you've done that. All right, let me get over to my students here and let me refresh my screen. Okay, good. So 
<clears throat> you just gave a grade to Clark Kent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to Lois Lane. And you can either do that a couple ways. You can either come up here to the toolbar, the navigation toolbar, and select Lois Lane, or check this out. Down here, we know that Clark Kent worked in a group with Lois Lane. Lois Lane is hyperlinked. So you can click on that and go right to her notebook. So either do that or check it from here, and uh, let's get over there together. So you, on your screen, go ahead and go over to Lois Lane's notebook. And in here, in Lois's notebook, it says, I worked in a group with Clark. Well, the work for this assignment is in Clark's notebook. It's in my notebook, okay? So what you can do is <clears throat> you can either assign a grade to Lois Lane, and then when you have an opportunity, it'll come up and ask you, do you want to assign this grade to the whole group? Or do you just want to assign it to Lois Lane? So from the TA's perspective, those are your two options. If you have a group project coming into you to grade, you have the opportunity to grade the individuals in that group, or you have the opportunity to apply a grade to the whole group. Sorry, I missed where do you assign to the entire group? Well, if you put in a grade for Lois Lane, Okay. And you've already put one in for Clark. Mm -hmm. And if you put a grade in for Lois, whether it's a different grade or not, for, uh, you know, if, what what number did you give Clark? What what did you? Uh, I gave him a 10. Okay, nice great. Generous. Okay, great. So <laughs> uh, just to see what happens, maybe give a grade of nine to Lois. And then it should come up and ask you, do you want to apply that nine to the whole group, including Clark, or ah, no? there we go. Yeah. Assign grade to group. I see. Yeah. So that, yeah. So that's yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, there's a third person in our class. There's Jimmy Olson. So go ahead and click on Jimmy Olson from the navigation toolbar along the top. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like uh, he's already been graded. I still did him first. I oh, didn't realize good. I wasn't on that's quite okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But I, I purposely left Jimmy out of the group so you, you could just see how that how that works. So now you know how to grade a group, and now you know how to grade individuals. Now what Great. you can do here – yeah, it's pretty straightforward, right? So now what you can mm -hmm. do is – let's get rid of that TA. So now what you can do is in your course manager – you have access to uh, – let me get rid of that. In your course manager, you have access to a grades tab down there at the bottom. It's under students. Mm -hmm. And in there, you should see the grade report that just got generated. See the grade report? It's not populating. Um, What's happening to it? It's just blank. No matching grades found for the TA demo. Oh, class. okay. Okay. That's fine. Actually, that's perfect that it happened that way because in your screen, uh, look over, uh, you know where you see the icons on, uh, under the view column on the right-hand side? Um, see. So the students aren't showing up for me right now on okay. the TA demo course. Yeah, go, yeah go to the students tab. Go to the students tab. Mm -hmm. And then follow over there on the right side of the screen. There's a view column, and you've got some icons sitting there. Yeah. Okay, then move your mouse up to where it says show. It probably says like oh, show my oh, section sorry. or something like there that. There we go. Yeah. Show okay, that was the problem. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad that that happened because it's important that you know where to navigate to to see where to change things. So 
Um, sure. Yeah, so if your instructor doesn't put you in a section, then it, you'll see exactly what happened. And that's what I did. I didn't put you in a section just because I just didn't. But show all sections. Now you see the students. And so for you, go down here to, uh, on the left, go to grades. Mm -hmm. And now you see the grade report sitting there. Yes. And so now what can you do with this stuff? Well, you have some options here. You can copy, print. Uh, are you guys connected to an, a learning management system like Blackboard or Moodle or something like that? Yeah, we use Sakai, okay. which is similar yeah, okay. to Blackboard, I think, yeah. And I don't know if you guys use that to uh, post grades, but if you do, then you can export the grade report from Lab Archive uh, as a comma delimited formatted file, and that will typically okay. get uploaded into that, no problem. Okay, great. Yeah. So from a from a, uh, a TA's perspective that's it so pretty easy pretty straightforward yeah um, if you should ever have any questions about anything uh, take a look at support at labarchives.com uh, just shoot off an email and they'll get back to you very quickly also too in the upper right hand corner there's a little eye up there under there there's there's a lot of good stuff here so the help is our knowledge base. So you can open that up and type in whatever you need to know anything about, and it'll tell you. So either go there or go to supportatlabarchives.com, and you'll get an answer to your question very quickly. Okie dokie. Great. All right. Any questions? No. Seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, I um, think so. Yeah, I think so. So there you go. Um, so if you don't have any questions, I guess I'll just say, well, thank you for joining us today and 